Hey everyone, it's Adam. Today we're going to talk about the Mix Effect Companion Profile, how to install and configure it. What is the Mix Effect Companion Profile? Simply put, it's a profile that I've created for Companion that lets you control Mix Effect from a Stream Deck. Let's take a quick look at a demo before we get into the nitty gritty about how to install and configure it. So here's my iPad on the left, and you can see my Companion and Stream Deck running over here on the right. So let's just go and switch some colors in the color generator. So I'm going to tap this button and you can see mix effect changes its interface. And I'm going to just change the color two like this. If I want to change color one, I can just push this button and I'll select color one and I can change this. If I want to dicker with the actual hue, saturation and luminance values from the stream deck, I can just tap that and push these buttons here to like increase it I can change the saturation or maybe the luminance. If I want to switch to color two, I can just tap a button and do that, do that, and do that. And you can see it changing in real time. Uh, if we want to go to something like the, let's say the super source, we can just tap this and you can see a bunch of things. If I wanted to highlight box one, which is my picture right here, I can just tap that. If I want to highlight box three, which is that, and reset it. I can do that, or I can change super sources. I can change like the box size. So I want to make box one smaller like this. I can do like that. I'm going to go back to super source and just reset everything back to normal. I can do that. So it's a way for you to be able to control your mix effect application and your ATEM switcher just from the stream deck. Okay, let's get started on how to do this how to get this all configured. So let's go switch over to the Mac mini. And here we are. So this is a companion running on my computer. So the first thing is we have to go to the mix app slash companion page. That's going to redirect you to Johnny Estes' uh, GitHub page where we can download the latest version of companion. Now companion, the current version, on the bidfocus.io website doesn't include the native mix effect module that we've been working on. But if you go to mix effect.app slash companion, you'll come to this page here and then you'll see, you'll need to download a special beta build that has the mix effect module built into companion. So if we click on this link, we will go to this page here, which is his builds page. And every time we update it, we will increment the version number. So right now we're in version 1.1.1. The Mix Effect Native Companion module works on Windows, Intel, Macs, and Macs with Apple Silicon. So download the one that corresponds to the type of computer that you're running. So in this case, we're going to download the ARM64 one, which is the one for Apple Silicon Macs. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to say download. I'm going to say download anyways. And what that's going to do is going to add that to my downloads directory. And there it is right here on my Mac. So I'm going to double click on this to open it. Now, if you already have companion running, which I do, you're going to get this error here. So I'm going to say replace and you'll see that can't uh, be complete because companion is in use. So what we're going to do is we're going to quit out of companion. So if we bring up companions icon, which is this one show hide window. Uh, and we can just tap the quit button here. So now it's quit. Now we can replace our old version of companion with the new version of companion. Say replace. It's replaced. And if we go to our applications folder, we will see that version of companion. Now, because this is a beta build of companion, if you try to double click on this, you're going to get this error saying uh, it can't be open because the developer is untrusted. So the way to get around that is you control click on the companion app and you choose open. And that will show that you can, you can approve this version of companion to, to be open, um, when you double click on it in the future. So we did that and it'll bring up the BitFocus uh, kind of admin interface interface. And when we click launch GUI, what's going to happen is I'm going to move this window out of the way. What's going to happen is it's going to launch to this place. Now I already have the mix effect companion profile loaded on this. In order to get that, you would go to the mix effect.app slash companion dash profiles page and you'll come here. I have a profile for ATEM Extreme and ATEM Mini Pros. Uh, I will be working on future profiles for other ATEM switchers in the future once I get uh, my hands on some of those loaner switchers from Blackmagic. Uh, 
But for right now, if you have an A10 Mini or A10 Mini Extreme, a 10 Mini Extreme or A10 Mini Extreme ISO, you can download this profile here or this one here. Each profile is $20 uh, and you can purchase them online from Gumroad. Just click on this purchases profile link. So once you've done that, you'll get a uh, a copy of the companion profile. And what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna install it. So the way you do that is you go to the button section and I'm gonna make this window a little bit bigger. And first thing you want to do is actually export your current configuration because what when you import the companion profile, it's going to wipe out all your pages and all your buttons. So if you want to keep your existing buttons and pages, you'll want to export them. So the way you do that, you go to the button section and companion and click on import export and then tap on the export full configuration. And that's going to download it to your downloads directory. You can save that. Uh, later. And then what you're going to want to do is you're going to click on import configuration. And if we take a look at the mix effect companion profiles, let's see, it is this one, the mix effect 32 extreme companion companion config. And you're going to get a button. You can import individual pages. Now this companion profile comes with like 73 pages of buttons. So you'll want to actually replace your current configuration. And again, that's going to wipe out all your companion pages and buttons. So you click on replace current configuration and you wait for it to finish. And then when it's done, it'll kind of reload everything. The next thing you want to do is go to connections. So here's where you're going to enter the IP address and port number of your mix effect app. So we're going to go look here. And sometimes when you get to this edit page and you click edit, you're going to see this fail to load the instance. And so what you want to do here is you can click retry, but usually what you need to do is just restart companion. So I can click retry here and you'll see that it's not going to work. But what we can do is click cancel and just restart companion. So we go back to companion, bring up this little GUI window here. Let's bring that up here and we'll just say quit. Okay, and then we'll just launch companion again from the applications folder here. And it comes back up. So now we can click edit and this should work. Sometimes it gets frozen here. It's interesting. Try reloading this page. There we go. Reload the page, you click edit and you'll see this information here. So. The target IP is the IP address of mix effect and the target port is the OSC port and mix effect. So the way you get to that is let's take a look at the iPad over here. So we go to your iOS settings. Uh, first off is we actually look at the ATEM mini extreme. You want to enable the OSC server here and take a note of this port number here. And oh, there's a special feature that's coming in the next version of mix effect where we're going to enable feedback in companion. So be on the lookout for that. So the way to get to the OSC, uh, the, actually the IP address of your iPad is you go to your settings app. So here we see that my IP address is 10.0.1.64. So we're going to enter that in companion. So let's go back over there. So if we look here, we see the target IP is 10.0.164 and the port number that we already entered was 24061. So it's very important, get the IP address of mix effect running on your iPad or your iPhone and enter that here and enter the target port. And then you also want to enter the type of switcher that you have. So in this case, it's the A10 Mini Extreme ISO. A future version of the native companion module may do an auto detect of your model, but for right now, just enter the A10 Mini Extreme ISO or the name, the type of switcher that you have. After you're done, you click save. And that should connect everything. If you plan to use the generic OSC commands in MixEffect, you can also enter your IP address and your port number here. So if you use the raw commands instead of the native module commands, you can be sure to configure that. So once we've done that, our things are set up. So we have on the first page, a button that takes you to the mix effect, kind of the home page. So if we bring up our screen here, again, we tap this first button, it will take us to the mix effect home page. And I have pages starting on page 21 in companion. So if you go to page 21 here, you'll see kind of the page and you see it reflected here on the stream deck over here. So if I hit switcher, 
it will go to the switcher page. And if I tap these kind of light blue buttons, that will actually change mix effect to point to that page. So if we go back in super source to the iPad, uh, if I push this light blue button, you see that it switches mix effect to the switcher page. Okay, so, and that works across any button that has kind of the light blue background. So if I tap on presets, that will take us to the view all presets page in mix effect. If I tap settings, that will open up the settings page in mix effect. So again, we go back to switcher, we tap switcher and you can see this. And if I wanna change what's on program, I can do that. If I wanna change what's on preview, I can just hit these buttons right here like this. Okay, or I can do a cut or auto just from pushing these. And again, a future version of the companion module and profile will have uh, support for feedback. So you actually see what's in program and what's in preview and they won't all be colored red and green. So once you've done that, uh, you have control over your ATEM switcher using mix effect and the companion profile. And we do a bunch of things. So for instance, we can go to super source and let's say we want to go to presets and let's say we want to go to the next preset, which I think is the Mac mini. Oh, let's tap the next preset here. Actually, I think I'm at the end of the presets. So we'll tap the previous presets and this will take me to that one and that one and that one, and that one, and finally to myself. Um, now, ideally, you probably wanna set up your own kind of presets that you have. So for instance, I have these favorite presets right here. So here you wanna edit what's a favorite preset. So this is where you actually need to go into companion to configure things and make this companion profile your own. So if we go back to the Mac mini, we can take a look at what this looks like. So if we go to the presets page, I believe we can just go starting on page 80 is the super source stuff. Um, she maybe it's super source, it's super source presets is page 78. So if you take a look here, you wanna see like favorites. So right here, you can modify the label. So if we wanted to give this one, say, let's say O2 camera, which is the name of the camera preset. And we just enter the name of the preset name here, O2 space camera. And my USK is kind of blocking uh, that thing. So we can actually use mix effect to move it out of the way. So let's go to USK. This is the downstream here, number two. And then I'm going to change its position by going to the DVE and say position. And I'm just gonna move it down a little bit like that. Let's actually make it a little smaller as well. I'm gonna make it smaller like that. Okay, and I'll just move it over here. So you can see how easily you can kind of adjust things on the fly using the Stream Deck. Now, you could also go into the USK here in Mix Effect, and then if we pull up the super source of the PIP, here, we can also do something like this. So we can also just like tap here and, and move the USK2 around like this, okay? But if you like, you can also just do it from the Stream Deck and that's kind of the benefit of the Stream Deck is all the buttons are right there. You don't have to kind of switch to a different thing and reach over on your iPad. It's really up to you. That's the beauty about Mix Effect is that you can control it using Touch or the Stream Deck or even using Siri if you want wanted to. So coming back to our Mac mini. So we have here camera zero two. So if I push this button right now, it's going to run that preset. So if I hit the back button a couple of times, go back to super source and let's go to presets. If I hit zero two camera, um, camera, it'll switch to my camera feed right here. So let's go back to this guy. And let's say I wanted to change preset, the second preset, and I want to give it the preset name. Let's say three dash Mac mini plus USK. And I'll name that similarly like that. And then let's change this one to three dash Mac mini plus USK one only. <laughs> Very complicated preset names. Do this one. And since this one's kind of hard to read, I'm going to say Mac USK one. Say for favorite number four, we can name this one four dot media player two, which is one of my super source presets. 
And then number five, I'll name this one 12.iPad plus pip plus companion. So the name of the preset, uh, the name of the button title doesn't have to be, it can be whatever you want, but the preset name needs to be exact. Um, so I have these five um, presets, which correspond to all the presets I'm actually using in this video. So now I can just go back here and switch between them. I can go to my title slide like this, go back to the camera, say, hey, welcome, it's Adam, welcome to my show. And then I can switch direct directly to the Mac Mini. Uh, I push the button correctly, go to the iPad one. So the reason why these buttons don't work is I probably named them incorrectly. So we go back to the Mac Mini here. Let's just make sure I name them correctly. So here I have three dash Mac Mini plus USK. And what I did was I spelled Mac Mini with a lowercase m. And it needs to be an uppercase M. And I think my Mac did some autocorrect on that. There we go. So now when I push these buttons, take a look. It actually works. Okay, I go back to this one. Click this one like that. So you can see here how you can edit the companion profile to make it your own. Now, keep in mind that if I do update the companion profile, and all you people who buy the profile will get email notifications whenever I update a new version. If you uh, import the new profile and kind of wipe out all your pages, all your changes will be lost. So be sure again to download your profile, export it uh, to your computer, and before you kind of uh, replace the profile with the new one, and then you want to add back your pages. Okay, and the way you can do that is to say you made changes to this page, you can just click export page, and that will save it to your downloads folder. And then when you want to re-import it, you can just import that page on top of one of the existing pages. In this case, if you export page 78, you want to go to page 78 and import page 78. And the way you do that is you go to the import export place, and then you click import and choose that page. Now, if I made changes to page 78, you want to make sure you just add just the buttons that you want to add. Uh, and one way you can do that is you can actually import this page to like a blank page. So if I say go to page 99, I could import page 78 into here and then copy and paste those pages back into page 78. So I can do something like this. You can just click on this and you can do copy with command C and command V. You can say paste and you just pasted that action into your page. So I'm just going to hit delete and get rid of that. So that's how you install and configure the MixEffect Companion Profile. It's a very powerful way to use your Stream Deck and MixEffect to control your ATEM switcher. I hope you enjoyed this video and that you take a look at the Companion Profile. We're making some big changes with the native module uh, by adding feedback in the next version of the module and MixEffect 1.3 that's coming out soon in the next few weeks. So be on the lookout for that and be on the lookout for the next video. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.